The data represent the results for a test for a certain disease. Assume one individual from the group is randomly selected. Find the probability of getting someone who tests negative given that he or she had the disease. So we have this table here. We have positive and negative. Positive means that the test says that the person has the disease. Negative means that the test says the person does not have disease not have the disease. Yes means the person actually has the disease, and no means they didn't. So for example, there's 14 people that tested positive but didn't have the disease, right? Those are called false positives. Um, then there's uh, 22 people that had the disease that the test didn't catch, right? They tested, they tested negative. Anyways, let's do this problem. So find the probability, so it's a probability, so I'll write the P, of getting someone who tested negative so I'll just put NEG for negative, given that. So whenever you see a given that, you write the line. He or she had the disease. So negative given disease, negative given disease. So as before, whenever you have a conditional probability, whatever is after the given that, that goes on the bottom, right? So we're only focusing on people who have the disease. So we go to the individual actually had the disease. So we're only focusing on these yeses. So 126 plus 22, you add them up, right, is 148. So 148 people had the disease. So from these people, we want to figure out how many tested negative. So from these, look, there's 22 negatives. So 22 over 148. So let's see. So it's 22 over 148. So 0.149, that's the answer. So 0.149. Now let's try it. So 0.149. And that's it. That's the entire question. I hope that made sense.